I'm telling you, Herman, all the best bars are moving in this direction. It is the future. Uh, we already got an ice maker. Yeah, but that's for that, that's little chunks of frozen slush. What I am talking about are artisanal ice cubes. Look, Severide knows. Severide. You ever order a scotch on the rocks and they bring you one giant, perfectly clear ice cube? Yeah. So it's, it's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, it keeps the drink cold, <clears throat> if that's what you mean. <clears throat> a ringing endorsement. Ah, artisanal ice cubes. <sighs> hey, thanks. Thanks a ton. What happened? You lose your clothes? No, they're right here. Well, I'm gonna go, so don't feel obligated to keep this little show of yours going. Okay. All right. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Come on! Where are your guys? Smoke break? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you know how it goes, union regulations. He's a hand? No, I, I got this. Mm. I, you are something. How so? Cause you act like you don't give a damn and then, and then you're the one who goes and yells at CFD Brass or comes and helps the damsel in distress. Yeah, hey, well, you got me all figured out. Yeah, I know. Except one thing. What's that? When I'm married, you break into my house with flowers and champagne, and then I'm solo, and you just keep a nice, safe distance. So. I was thinking that we could put the first coat of mud and let it dry. Next coat tomorrow? And then, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, assuming I can never get this sheet up. Well, between the two of us, come on, a piece of cake. Stuck here a while? Yeah, I was just about to start inventory. Why? I was gonna hit Shy Cafe, thought you might be up for a bite, but another time. Well, hold on, Kelly. Look, I know that communication is not your first language, but what's going on with you lately? You've been dodging me and, and just acting off ever since the fire. Can you just, for once, just tell me what you're feeling? that the boy's gonna be okay. It's, um, it's just weighing a lot on Herman. Just keep doing what you're doing. Mm. Staying close. That's my plan. He'll be okay. Hey, hey. Yes. I, 
that far. Hmm. That is so funny. I had the same thought. Hi. Hey. Connie told me to just bang on the door. I hope that's okay. I'm I'm Renee. I'm an old friend of mm. Kelly's. Yes. Uh, good to good to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't introduce you before. This is uh, Stella, my girlfriend. Well, it's it's very good to meet you, Stella. Today was so perfect. No, not mm, Can we make it never end? I promise. It's only gonna get better. <laughs> and there will be a ring soon to make it official. Mm, you know I don't get caught up in that stuff. All I need is you. Actually, um, I, I take it back. I'll take the ring. Congratulations, Kelly. You one lucky man. Yeah. <laughs> that much I know. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Usually about this time, I'm pointing out the width of Mather Tower. Instead, the fates aligned. And here we are on this ship, surrounded by the magnificent city of Chicago, to celebrate the union of Kelly and Stella. And I understand this one's been a long time coming, so let's get right to it. What do you say? Now, I know you wrote your own vows, so uh, take it away, guys. <clears throat> OK, I can do this. Not going to cry. Kelly, the simple truth is that you are magic to me. Whenever I'm at my lowest, you lift me up. You never leave my side. You are the goodest of men. And yes, we are taking a huge, crazy leap into the unknown. But we're doing it together. And when I need to hear it, you'll tell me you got this, Stella kid. And I'll know that everything will be OK, because it always is when I'm with you. I love you with everything I got for this ever. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <sighs> Stella, I decided a long time ago that if I was going to be with you, I needed to be worthy of you, which seemed impossible. How do I become worthy of someone brave enough to show who they are, inside and out? What makes me this better person that I keep hearing about is you keep me from locking things up. Instead, you made sure you really knew me. And by some miracle, you still love me. So, 
I might never be worthy of you. But I promise to spend the rest of my life trying. I love you. I love you so much. Can we have the rings, please? left to say is, by authority given me by the state of Illinois and the city of Chicago, I now pronounce you husband and wife.